This is Hydrogen Tap. After receiving uh, a lot of email, I've decided to run another test to test out my theory on the pulsing system of Myers. I now believe strongly that all he had was a pulsing system, that the frequency he was talking about did not matter. Before we used a 12 volt battery, a lot of people questioned that, thinking that I'm getting a lot of amperage out of it. Right now I've put two AA batteries in the circuit. We're running it through a transformer and charging the capacitor. There's the transformer. There's my switch I'm going to be manually doing, just like before. And I've got the meter across the capacitor. So what we're in a sense doing is creating voltage. The word creating is bad. What we're doing is making the capacitor charge up. What Myers did, I believe, is use the plates in his system as capacitors, which he stated he did. So what we're doing is taking that capacitor there, which is an electrolyte capacitor, and pretending this is our plates. There's your diode, which only allows the voltage to go in one direction. So it can only charge the capacitor. And remember, this is only 3 volts, 2 1.5 volt triple A's. And let's see what happens. Remember, we got over 20 volts from the 12 volt supply, and now this is 3 volts. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oops, over the scope of the meter, switch 21, 26. Well, we're, we're getting a bleed over. 27, 29, 32, I think we've reached the bleed point. I should have a choke in there which will stop the capacitor from bleeding out. That's okay, we'll settle at 25.9 volts. And again, this is working on two AAA batteries, which is actually giving us three. And if you look here, we'll put it on the other meter, and you can see together there's three volts. A little. The reason I'm using this instead of a digital meter is all my other meters, the batteries are dead. And all you naysayers out there, what I'm going to do for you is actually combine a second test here. And I'm going to take the one of the two batteries out. And we'll do the same test with one and a half volts. You can see it's steady at 22.3. Okay, now we're running on.